Hi there, Lee Griggs, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. And just want to quickly cover how to use the triplanar shader. So the triplanar allows you to quickly map a texture without having to use a UV map or editing by projecting the texture from all six sides. There are many times where triplanar can come in useful. For example, if you want to replace uh, UV editing on a complex shape, such as a car seat, for example, where you need the patterns to match from all angles. So the triplanar shader can be a real time saver when texturing objects. Okay, so I've got a simple scene here with a flat shader assigned to the cube here with the triplanar going to the color and this UV image projecting for all six sides of the cube. Also I've got the input per axis option which allows us to project in the Y and the Z to the axis. So at the moment there's nothing connected to here so that's why they're rendering the white. So we can connect uh, textures here as well. I'm going to change this texture map to a texture I've prepared earlier, so input X. And I'm going to do the same for the Y and the Z axis, so input Y here, and another one for Z, see the Z axis. So we've got input Z texture. So I get the input Y texture to input Y, and the input Z texture to input Z. Just rename these. Input Z, see? Okay, so if we move the camera around to the other side, we can see the projected texture projecting through the objects. So input Y, if you look underneath, you see it's input Y as well. What if we had a rounded curved shape? Well, I could add a bevel here. Maybe we don't want this hard edge where the textures meet. We can use the, the blend option to blend together the projected textures from each side smoothly, like so. Got another scene here where the triplane has been used to project this gift wrapping paper texture from all six sides. So under the transform, we've also got the option to scale the texture pattern. Can also rotate it. And we can also offset it, so if you maybe wanted to align the, the texture here, we could do uh, an isolate select and a region render, just region render just this area here. And then we can move the offset in the Y direction. Just to align those textures there. It's also a flip on opposite direction that can be used to control the behavior of the shader on faces facing the corresponding negative axis. So this is on by default. If you want to match Maya's triplanar projection, then you would disable this to get the opposite effect. So finally, there's Cell, which is very useful for blending in patterns on rounded, more organic shapes. So for example, here we've got a grid texture projected from on six sides, but we can see the projection here quite clearly. So cell is a random tiling pattern projected through Voronoi cells. If I was to increase the rotation you should be able to see that which controls the rotation of the randomization. So when we increase the blend we can start to see the patterns merge. We can also control the blend width as well which can be very useful when you want to blend a repeating pattern. Okay so that's uh, the triplanar shader. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.